Hello and welcome to this short video which explains how you can complete a pension transfer form with Hargreaves Lansdowne. I want to make it clear that this video is designed for those of you who have already decided to transfer your pension to Hargreaves Lansdowne. I have recorded another video which explains the factors to consider before transferring a pension and this is available on our YouTube page. I secondly want to note that this video is for information purposes as opposed to financial advice. So to give you a bit of background on the transfer process, we firstly need the authority from you to approach your other provider to request for the funds to be transferred. This is the transfer form, which can be done online or via a postal form. The next step is down to the provider in question. If your provider uses the online transfer system called Origo, they will then disinvest the funds and send the cash to us. If they don't use Origo, they will issue a discharge form. Now, part of this form needs to be completed by you as the member and part needs to be completed by us as the receiving scheme. Once that is completed, they should then disinvest the funds and send the cash to us. Now, the quicker transfer comes when the provider uses Origo, in which it will typically take two to four weeks. However, if discharge forms are required, then this can put the time frame to around four to eight weeks. You're typically out of the market for a small period of time, but you'll not be out of the market for the whole transfer process. So it can be possible to instruct a transfer through our website, which is hl.co.uk, if you have online access. Now, not all pension policies can be transferred online, but it's certainly worth a go to start with. You'll firstly need to log into your HL account and then hover over the pensions tab at the top of the page and then click on transfer to the SIP, which will bring up this page. And you'll need to click the blue button uh, and head through to the next page. You'll then get to the what you need to know section, which contains the important information you need to be aware of. Also, please note that you would need to have read the terms and conditions key features and the transfer checklist, which is on page two of the key features. Now, assuming you are happy with this, you can then press continue. Now this will then bring up a section that will require you to put in your policy details. And to help with this, there is a drop down list of pension providers for you to select from. It is important that we can obtain your correct policy number. So please check with your current provider as they may refer it to something else like a reference number, plan number or wrapper number. Now, as you scroll down, there is then a question regarding whether the transfer is a partial transfer. This is only if you want to transfer a specific amount of your previous pension to Hargreaves Lansdowne. If you want to transfer the full value of the pension, you'll need to click no to partial transfer. The next question asks whether the pension you are transferring is in drawdown. This is unlikely, but it may apply if you've previously taken tax-free cash from the pension. Now a slightly different transfer process is required in this case. Now, once you've completed this section, you can then click confirm. Now, the next stage is for you to confirm the details you have entered. I have, of course, used example details for the purpose of this video. The final step is the investment instruction. Now, if you do not add an investment instruction, the money will be transferred and held as cash until you do. If you want the proceeds to be invested, you'll need to click choose investments now. Alternatively, you can hold the money as cash and wait until we receive it before placing an investment instruction. So you're able to split the money across multiple funds with varying percentages in each. For each fund, you'll need to select the name of the fund provider followed by the fund name. Now, again, I have used three example funds here just to show what it may look like. 
But before placing an investment instruction, please ensure you have read the key features and key investor information documents for the funds you have chosen. Now, if you're happy with that, you can then click continue. And that is then it. Your transfer will either be submitted and the request will be actioned by us, or you may have to download and print a postal form. The form you download and print at this stage will have all of the details you have entered online. A reason why it may not work online could be that the details you have entered were incorrect or the pension is just not eligible to be transferred online. To make sure, it's worth double checking the details you have entered. Now, if your pension cannot be transferred online, then you can obtain a workplace pension transfer form that looks like this. You can complete and post this back to us at Free Post Hargreaves Lansdowne, which means the envelope won't require a stamp. If you don't have a printer, you can contact our help desk and they will post you a form which includes a return envelope. Now, the first section is fairly straightforward. We need your personal details. If your other provider holds a different address than us, you'll need to update them so that they match the address that we hold. Otherwise, it will delay the transfer until you do so. The next section is similar to the online form, completing the details of your other scheme. As mentioned previously, this is important, so please make sure you have the correct information. Signing and dating the form is of course vital, but again, please read through the terms and conditions, key features and transfer checklist before signing. And finally, the investment instruction. Again, if you don't fill in this section, the money will be transferred and held as cash until you give an instruction. I want to make it clear that if you do want the money to be transferred into a fund, even if that's the default fund, you need to instruct that on the form. Again, please make sure you read the key features and key investor information documents of the funds you have chosen before giving the instruction. We will then follow the instruction and invest the money into the funds you have chosen as soon as we receive the money. And that now concludes this short video. I really hope that you found it useful.